packing efficiency of FCC. This blue represent the front face, green represent the right side face, red represent the top face. It is the particle A at the face center we have the particle B and this is the particle of the corner C. Phase diagonal AC particle A it is the particle of the corner particle B is the particle of the face center particle C again is the particle of the corner. Phase diagonal AC is equal to 4R 4R is equal to A under root 2. Packing efficiency is the number of particles multiplied by volume of one particle volume of one particle is the 4 by 3 pi r q divided by volume of the unit cell a q multiplied by 100 4 into 4 into 4 r q divided by 2 under root 2 this value will come as 74 percent packing efficiency of the FCC is the 74 percent then percentage free space that is the 26 percent order of the packing efficiency FCC because packing efficiency is the maximum 74 then BCC 68 percent then simple unit cell 54 percentage free space simple unit cell then for the BCC and least free space is present in the FCC. Limiting radius ratio. Radius ratio is the ratio of smaller particle generally cation is the smaller and generally anion is the bigger. So smaller particle divided by bigger particle radius of cation divided by radius of anion. So on the basis of these two we can identify the location of the smaller particle which void is occupied by the smaller particle in the crystalline system. If the radius ratio is 0 0.155 to 0.225 in such case smaller particle occupy triangular void. So this void is actually triangular in shape so that is why it is called the triangular void. This red particle is surrounded by the three particles so coordination number of the smaller particle become the three example P2O3. Radius ratio is 0 0.225 to 0.414. It occupy a tetrahedral void. Three particle of the layer 1 when covered by the one particle of the layer 2. Among these four particle we have one vacant space. That vacant space is called the tetrahedral void. This red particle is surrounded by the four black particle. So coordination number of the tetrahedral void is always four. Example of this is the ZNS. When the radius ratio is 0.414 to 0 0.732. The void used by the smaller particle is the octahedral void. Three particle of the layer 1 are surrounded by the three particle of the layer 2. The vacant space here, it is called the octahedral void. It is surrounded by the six particle, three down, three up. So coordination number become the six. And the example of this system is the NaCl. Among these three particle, this space is the triangular void. When three particle of the layer 1, three particle of the layer 1, triangular void of the layer 1 is covered by the particle of the second layer. So this vacant space represent the tetrahedral void. This system represent the tetrahedral void in such a way. You see, triangular void of the layer 1 is covered by the triangular void of the layer 2. When these particle of the layer 1 are covered with the particle of the layer 2. 3 particle down and 3 particle up. And the gap between these 6 particle is represent the octahedral void. Cubical void. When the radius ratio is 0.732 to 1. At the center we have one void 
सो दैट सेंटर ऑफ द क्यूब रिप्रेजेंट वन क्यूबिकल वॉइड सो कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर एट एग्जाम्पल इज द सीजियम क्लोराइड 